Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro the Dragon. Uh, that was not a particularly auspicious start, I have to say. Uh, so yeah, we're back in <laughs> Magic Crafters, getting hit for no reason. I'm just gonna go find some sheep. Here we go. Eat that butterfly. And we're going to go into the first uh, level. You have to do in order, but we're going to do them in order, I guess. This is the first one you reach when you're coming in from the beginning, which is over there. Alpine Ridge. So let's take a look. I don't super remember what this level's about, but it's Alpine Ridge. And we're going to get all the stuff in it. There'll be a couple of dragons, a uh, bunch of treasure, possibly a couple of eggs, I don't remember. And a long load time. Everyone's favourite part of the game. Where you going, Spyro? Okay. So we've got these big thingies that are... They're going to probably charge toward us when we get close. So we're going to have to have our flame breath at the ready. There we go. Easy peasy. Of course, the... Uh, Fellas here goading them on have metal armor, so we gotta charge them and fall to our death. Very important part of the game. Time to reignite. I don't I don't understand why they added this reigniting step every time you die. It doesn't it doesn't make sense. Cause the original game, again, didn't have anything like this. It just respawned you at the last checkpoint immediately. Wait, was that Wumpa Twoot from Crash Bandicoot that you were throwing out? Looked like it. <laughs> it's easy enough to deal with once I'm not on a tiny platform near an edge. Uh, here, this guy's gonna turn in steps into a slide. You have to just quickly climb up while there's steps. It's pretty easy. See? You can just take him out. Not really a challenge. Uh, these guys just want to charge him. Be careful you don't get hit. Here's one of these spinning things. You just use fire a couple times. It breaks open. There we go. Here's a dragon. Zane. Oh, cute. Oh, good. I didn't think so. That was adorable. Come back, Zane. I want to be your friend. <laughs> that was adorable. <laughs> okay, so from here, I think we... Oh, yeah, there's some stairs over here. We can go up this way. Uh, then what? I think we have to glide, maybe? Yeah, we glide from where the dragon is over to there. We can take out that big guy, get his gem, there we go. Okay, here you have to use some careful timing, because that guy blocks up the en entrance by putting up the wall there. So you want to wait till it's down before you try to glide over. Like so. Easy enough. Uh, here you can just glide on down when you're ready. Charge through that guy, there we go. A couple of extra gems to grab around the edges, of course. Uh, this guy's doing the same sort of thing as the previous guy, there we go. Easy peasy. There's dragon to deal with. It's, uh, Eldred. Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome. That's all you gotta say? Okay, bye Eldred. gems up this way. Here what they do is they put some monsters in the big pits, and yeah, they're definitely throwing Wumpa through it down. From Crash Bandicoot. 
That's an interesting detail. <laughs> I don't know if they did that in the original. I don't think they did. <laughs> Presumably they're doing that because Activision is publishing both games, so they've got the, the rights to do little cameos like that if they want to. Kind of a cute detail. Okay, this guy, yeah, he's gonna lift up the kit, and there's a monster in there, so you gotta take it out. There we go. Easy. Uh, forget what's down here. Let's have a quick look. Okay, we've got a staircase. And we got some monsters. And some fireworks. And an extra life, which we will gladly take, thank you. And some fireworks we gotta activate. Get out of the way because they will hurt you if you're too close. And we can grab all these gems. How are we doing so far? There are 500 gems in this one. Wow, okay. That's quite a lot. Here's another dragon. It's Sander. Great work, Spyro. If you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the Magic Crafters world. I sure hope so. Thanks, Sander. from here you can glide back to the beginning if you want, and that's why we can see the start of the level from here. Uh, I can see some gems over there that I missed, so let's head over that way. Hiding behind here. As you can see. There you go, now I've got him. Okay, I haven't been over there yet, so clearly I do need to go that direction. Um, I'm not sure what the best way to get over there is. Can it work from here? Is, it looks too far. I can't climb up here, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember how to get over there. Um, I could try gliding from here, but it does look very far. Like, compared to that platform, which is actually lower, and a lot closer. Hmm. Maybe I'll head back this way and have a look around, see if there was, like, a side path or something I missed. Hmm, doesn't look like it. I can see a dragon over there, though, which I need to get to. Um... Also some fireworks up on those high ledges, so... Evidently there's still some stuff I need to find here. Hmm... Yeah, I'm not sure how to reach any of that. Hang on, maybe if I keep going up this way, I can maybe glide off a side somewhere and... reach things that are far away? There's a little overhang here, which looks like you're supposed to glide from it to reach things. So, let's try it. Yeah, that'll work. Cool. Oh, Egg Thief. Where do you think you're going? Ah, that's not good. Um, I guess the checkpoint's the last dragon, so pretty much just before I did that glide, so that should be fine. <sighs> Reigniting! Reigniting! Yeah! Yep, that's, that's right. Just gotta glide back down and we're all good.
think I'm gaining on him, but it's kind of hard to tell. Come back here, jerk. Yeah, I'm definitely gaining a little bit. It's just slow going. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, um, well, this is where we came in. We do want to get all this treasure that's lying around, and this dragon. You... Kelvin? You invented temperature. Oops, I skipped that. I didn't... That was an accident. Hang on, I can probably replay it. Hello, please replay the dragon for me. Remember that these blue thieves have stolen eggs outside the Magic Crafters world as well. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. Yeah, I got all the ones in previous worlds already, so... Thanks. <laughs> okay, so, um... There's these little firework thingies on all of these, so let's just uh, do it a bit like this. So that we avoid getting uh, exploded by accident. Oh, oh jeez, that was scary. There we go. Okie doke. Um, I think there might be more stuff to get in this direction, so let's just head back through here one more time. I don't think I got all the treasure on the way through. Yeah. Quite a bit of treasure I missed. Okay, um... I think that's everything along that route. What about... I think I need to glide to over there, maybe? Um, but to do that, I'll have to get back up high again. Which means going this way. So I to get to that last little area with the four... Um, not the four, with the, with the three little wizard guys that we could see. I, I think maybe doing it from over here is the easiest way. Let's see if it works. No, that won't work. I also don't think that's the right way to go to get the thing that's where I came in to this room. So it probably wouldn't help. Uh, so let's have another look around, see what other places I can maybe glide to. For example, if I go all the way to the end here, that lets me glide back to the beginning. Does it also let me glide over there somewhere? No. Hang on, no, that tunnel does look... Uh, maybe. Hmm. Okay, let's head back over here and have a look around near the beginning. Okay, so we have a dragon here. There's a bit of a checkpoint. If we try to glide from up here, how far do we get? Oops. Well, not very far if I fall off by accident. That looks too far, but maybe? Oh, maybe. Yeah, okay. Okay, fair enough. You can make it. Okay, this has the um, weather wizards, which are quite scary, so watch out for those. And there's a sheep, and there's some more weather wizards. They're gonna start shooting snow at us, so watch out for that. Thankfully, we can breathe fire, so we should be okay. Don't have too much trouble. Then we can collect this treasure, and the last little bit of treasure is up there. Um, we're gonna wait for these moving platforms. They're perfectly timed, even though you'd think they, those guys could just mess with them to screw you up, because they're watching you. But they don't actually take advantage of the fact that they're watching you to do anything clever. There we go. 500 out of 500, yeah. Now I should be able to glide to here. And then down to here, and then just keep going this way to reach the exit again. Excellent. 
Alright, so that's 15 minutes. Um, I think I might do one more level, just uh, to round out the video at like 30-ish minutes. That's the kind of length I look for. Uh, so I'm gonna head back home, here we go. That'll save that 500 treasure we just got. Maybe I do need to go back to the flying levels and get the treasure out of them. I'll leave that for now though, I'll come back to it later, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, so the next, uh, next level we get to, if we get back to the world, overworld eventually, there we go. Here's the overworld. The overworld is complete, as it's telling us there, so... That's pretty cool. Uh, the next level we can get to, though, is at the top of this supercharged ramp. And it's high caves. So if we jump into high caves here, we can collect some more treasure. And we can do a barrel roll as well. The interesting that the gem icon is purple. I think in the original game it used a red gem, which is worth one, because a purple is worth like 25. So it's kind of weird to use it as the default gem icon. <sighs> anyway, here we are. Uh, we got some more of these weather wizards. We also got some whirlwind wizards, which are pretty scary. Gotta watch out for those. I believe the boss is actually a bigger version of that guy. Uh, but we'll get to that in a little while. Okay, yeah, there's also a super scary spider in this level, so that's a bit scary. Uh, that's gonna be something we have to deal with at some point. The wizards are actually fighting with each other, which is interesting. Uh, but they can both hurt you, so you got to be careful. Ow! I got whirlwinded by someone around this corner. That guy. <laughs> Dragon. It's Cyrus from Animal Crossing. It's the wrong color. Do something about these green druids. They insist on moving everything in sight. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, we want to get into these moving platforms here, which is a little scary because they're moving platforms. And we want to take out the guys that are making them move, and then they'll stop moving. And stay put in a useful position, like this. And we can continue. And yeah, we will have to deal with that creepy spider, so, um, that's gonna be a little scary. Um, watch out for that. Uh, by the way, you can see there's little fairies down there. Uh, you can't actually fall to your death in this area. If you fall off, the, uh, little fairies will rescue you, rather than actually having you fall. Uh, which is kinda nice. Ajax? Wow, we're making a JavaScript application. I hate those bugs. When I become big and strong like you, I'll squash them all. Until then, remember that supercharge makes you invincible. So yeah, we have to use a supercharge to kill that big bug. Which is clearly a spider. I didn't actually count the legs, maybe it's not a spider. Here there's some fireworks we can set off, get some gems. And there's a little shelf here for some reason. I don't know what the point of this is, there's nothing up here. Oh, <laughs> uh, you can see there's a thief over there. I think we can just glide to him. I believe the fairies will save us if we can't make it, so... Yeah, see? Fairy rescue! Fairy rescue, they take you up the ramp over here, so you can supercharge again, but we don't want to do that right now. We want to go over here and try to glide again. I think I need to aim for this one first. And then come around the corner to the other one.
Yeah, that worked. Give me a drug. I believe the track just loops like the previous one did. So we don't have to worry too much about the guy getting away. Just gotta keep tailing him until we get him. Yeah, easy peasy. Uh, we'll have to do the track one more time just to make sure we didn't miss any treasure. Uh, good, good, good. Good, good, good. And there's this biggish sort of room here. Good, good, good. And this area's done. Neat. Neato burrito. Um, we can't actually get back, but we can just jump down and the fairies will save us, so not a problem. <laughs> uh, the reason there's a supercharged ramp here, by the way, uh, is because... Yeah, that. <laughs> you can supercharge off big ramps like that and launch yourself pretty far, and it's pretty fun. Uh, also there's a dragon here. Hi dragon. It's Cedric. Diggory? Combining your supercharge with jumping and gliding. And really explore the high caves. Yeah, I did that to reach you. Thanks, thanks Cedric. Diggory. I don't think there's any scary spiders in this piece. So we should be alright. Well, yeah, we want to head back, so we just glide back over here. We have to supercharge down there to get the spider and defeat it. I'm kind of scared, so I might wait a little bit. Uh, you should be able to use your supercharge over here to launch yourself to the right as well. You can see there's a platform, like a big ledge over there, so... Yeah, and you can see there's another dragon thief over here. So we'll be taking that egg back. Once we get up there. Oh yeah, he just runs around this pool. I forgot about this. It's like he knows that you're a dragon and you, you can't swim. It's pretty rude. There we go. That's the way to do it. Okay, and there's some sheep down here which we can use to fill up our health again. After falling in the pool a couple of times, which is handy. Uh, I think there's just the one sheep though, which is a bit disappointing. We really need two. Yeah, anyway, we have to jump off the edge again so the fairies will take us back. Because we can't get back otherwise. Whee! And then we need to supercharge down to the scary place. Uh, so, I'm just gonna heat myself up. You can supercharge to kill those big bugs, uh, and that's what we have to do next. Like so. You can just charge straight through them. There's actually more than one, so, uh, that's scary. Let's head back to supercharge ramp and rub ourselves back up for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, missed that one. Dang it. Now at the beginning of the level again. <sighs> we can get around this way, not a problem. All the enemies are gone, so it's pretty easy to make our way back through here. Uh, there's also a fairy here that will give you extra powerful super breath, I believe. So we may check in with that fairy later. That one over there. You can see that there's like a fairy just hanging out there. That's another way to kill those big bugs, which are otherwise fireproof. And they're normal charge proof as well, so these upgrades are the only thing you can do to get rid of them. Okay, here we are. This is where the ramp is. Let's make our way around the corner here. You can see 
is the round. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Hopefully this time we can get that last bug. Bam! Heck yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, okay, I believe they're all gone now, but we're gonna move with caution anyway, just in case. I don't think they respawn unless you die, but just in case, because I'm scared. We're going to be real careful. We're going to be like super bonus extra careful. Ah, there's another one! Oh my god, that was terrifying. Ah! I'm so scared right now. Ah! Give me the super breath. Ah! Oh. Gotta get the wizard first. So yeah, the super breath can kill those bugs. So I want super breath. So I can kill those bugs. Oh my god. Hello, fairy. Give me the super breath, please. Okay. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. I think that's all of them. That was absolutely terrifying. Alright, I think... I think I've gotten everything. Give me more super breath, please, ma'am. Thank you. Still short a bit of treasure though, and I'm not sure where it would be. Hmm. Let's go back over here, maybe. Might have missed a bit before we came through here. Also, yeah, I was absolutely terrified of those bugs back there. Like, they were really scary even in the original game, but they made them much scarier in this remake because they looked spiderly instead of just like weird bug things. And I didn't, I didn't appreciate that. Oh god. Okay, I can see a gem over there, so I guess I want to target that hole there. Heck yeah. Uh, I hope there aren't bugs in here. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's safe. Okay. Uh... Unfortunately, that's not all the gems I needed. I'm still short a few. Because there's 500 here somewhere. Oh yeah, I've spark currently located him. Forgot about that. <laughs> okay, that's towards the scary bugs. So, let's go towards the scary bugs, I guess. I have many fear. Somewhere in this cave, I think. The scary bug cave. That really, really freaks me out. Should be an option to disable scary bugs in video games, in my opinion. Because they're very scary. And no one deserves to see scary bugs. Where the heck is this treasure you're telling me to go to? I can't find it anywhere. Is it? Oh, it's over there. Okay. <laughs> I think I had to go through the cave to get here, so the fact that I went through the cave is okay. That's everything. Yay! We did it! Never level complete. We did it. Yay! Okay, um, I guess... We just want to basically go back through 
to exit again now. It shouldn't take too long. Um, you could just, yeah, I could just glide over from here instead of going through the scary bug cave. Oh well. <laughs> it was terrible. Oh my god. Um, anyway, scary bugs. I don't, I don't like them. They were definitely less scary in the original game, but they were still scary. And in this game, they are scarier. And that's very rude. In my opinion, that, that was... What the hell did I just do? <laughs> I'm just gonna exit area. This is, this is ridiculous. Oh my god. Just wasted two lives in a row there on that useless glide that didn't do anything of value. <sighs> Exit level. Yes. The adventure continues. Wow, oh, that was kind of quick. Oh, it's because it wants to play this screen. Alright, so yeah, we're done with high caves, which was always kind of scary because of those bugs. Ugh. They're so big, and you can't damage them without, without the two power-ups that are in the area, which are both time-limited. Oh my god. So scary. And you need to damage them because they have gems in them. Oh god, this game. I have the fears. Goodbye, high caves. I no longer need to fear you because I have completed